Dutch people are accustomed to fighting the sea, says Jan van der Temple. The 47-year-old engineer originally wanted to build offshore wind farms. But then he became fascinated by quite a different problem. There's more and more infrastructure in the sea, production platforms for oil and gas, and above all, offshore wind turbines. They supply green energy, provided they're serviced and repaired. And that costs millions of euros each year, because people and material have to be shipped out to them. But on the high seas, that's often difficult and treacherous. I've boarded an offshore structure from a ship several times, and it's always a bit tricky. Waves and ship movements can't be predicted. So boarding an offshore structure is like taking a step into the unknown. And if the waves get bigger and there's a strong wind, it gets difficult and risky. Waves and ships behave chaotically. That makes offshore structure access risky. What's more, cables or cranes can shift only a few people or loads. And helicopters are often far too expensive. Problems for which Jan van der Temple wanted to find solutions. Our idea was a kind of inverted flight simulator. We measure the ship's motion and use it to control the six hydraulic supports in such a way that the ship remains moving in the waves, but the platform stays absolutely static. From there, you can simply walk along a gangway of the Ampleman to any other offshore structure. The idea has now been transformed into a fascinating technology. The systems look like a huge mechanical insect. But to realize this idea, Jan van der Temple had to master several challenges. The first was obvious. Such a system has to be capable of detecting every movement of a ship, no matter how tiny. And the basic technology for this already existed. Gyro instruments can detect how a ship is rolling in each of the three possible axes. And acceleration sensors can measure every change in its position. But very few of the available measuring devices were reliable in the long run. Finally, Jan van der Tempel found the combination of devices, delivering precise, raw data. This created a new problem. How could the continuous flood of data be reliably processed? For the first test, we used an old computer. It was too slow, of course. But luckily, with new computers, we could process the measured movement data of the ship fast enough to keep the ample man steady at all times. The trick here is that the measurement data are translated into commands for six hydraulic cylinders, which work like flexible legs. They neutralize the ship's movements and keep the platform and the gangway perfectly still, despite the swaying and rolling motions of the ship below. Step by step, Jan van der Tempel converts his idea into practice. It takes him three years. Finally, at the University of Technology in Delft, he designs two prototypes. And even the very first tests out at sea proved that his idea worked. It was the perfect time to start a business. That concept this concept, applied to ships in the offshore environment, was so new that it was easy to patent. The patent ensured the protection of that concept, which gave us, as a company, a huge advantage in the market over competitors. For a long time, in fact, it's enabled us to grow, to win the trust of our customers, and to make our company what it is today. In 2008, Jan van der Tempel founded the company Ampelman, 
Its systems have finally made it simple and safe to transport people and material from a vessel to any solid structure out at sea. Just like a pedestrian crossing a street when the little green man lights up. The Ample Man concept is a success. Today, the company has roughly 350 employees. But things wouldn't have gone so well if Jan van der Tempel hadn't solved yet another problem. To convince customers, the system had to be absolutely secure. We achieved it by integrating so-called redundant components. If a component fails, a twin component takes over from it. The ample man continues to work, and we can bring the person who is just crossing to safety. This makes the ample man an absolutely safe device in the offshore sector. The systems can be installed on any ship within eight hours and they can save up to 60% of operating costs. A potential that the industry has gratefully accepted. The Ample Man has changed the market, and it's changed my life as well. The industry has been waiting for this solution, and now we're delivering it. It's often exhausting, but very satisfying too, because this solution is taking the world further and making people happy. Today, more than 60 of the systems are in use worldwide. Even in extreme temperatures, strong winds and waves up to four meters high. They've already transported over six million people and 16 million kilograms of material. The sea can be wild and unpredictable, but Jan van der Tempel really does seem to have it partially tamed. <laughs>